Hi. Yeah, so I went off that huge tangent yesterday. <laughs> and, and the whole point, to wrap it up, hopefully really quickly. Um, I don't like when people are waiting for me, especially if they're getting paid to wait for me or they're trying to pay me to wait for me. Um, that's where all that was going. And I mentioned how I, at work, I get a little discombobulated, a little kerfuffled, a little bit anxious when I know there's somebody in the room or somebody in the office, somebody in the building while I'm doing a network rollout uh, that is waiting until I'm done before they can go home. So the whole point to bring it back to this channel is I'm never going to, as far as I can say right now, the times do change. Uh, I'm not going to ask for Patreons. I'm not going to ask for people to pay me. I, I, I was thinking, and I mentioned this yesterday, and I <laughs> skipped right over it. I was honestly thinking about a P.O. box because people have emailed me, hey, Dave, I have something to ship you, and they've shipped it. I give them my home address. Uh, but if I just put it at the bottom of my videos, hey, this is a P.O. box if you want to ship me crap. I can open it on the live for the 20 people who watch these things. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's just, it's not, I, didn't, I didn't want people sending me stuff to be part of this channel that they feel obligated to send me stuff. <laughs> no, I sent people stuff because they're my friends. Uh, and I do have a lot of pieces that I keep on saying I'm going to downsize. And so when they ask and I can deliver, I'm going to deliver. But it's going to take my time. This way I'm not opening up a BrickLink page. Um, or a Bickling store because then they expect it immediately. <laughs> My friend asked me, for, I think last summer, <laughs> for some parts, and I finally had a time and a minute to actually get it done, and I shipped them yesterday or the day before or whatever. Anyway, uh, so hopefully they get them. Um, but yeah, so this is why I do my channel the way I do my channel. And I'm not expecting to get a million subscribers because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to make a community of like-minded people, of people who just, you know, want to hang out and listen to me blather on. So that was the end point. If there's money involved, this money is coming my way to provide a service, I get discombobulated a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, out of sorts. Um, and again, that's tempered with the fact that I do have a job that people are waiting for me half the time because I have to deliver. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. Uh, so let's go into this. Hey, two minutes and 30 seconds to wrap up that one hour tangent yesterday. <laughs> um, if there is a need, if, if somebody feels, hey, I want to ship Dave this and he'll love it. I just PM me, private message me or send me an email. If I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the Internet. <laughs> So you can find how to contact me offline. Um, and uh, most people, who, I actually got a few packages in the mail and I did some mail stuff before. So uh, I love when I get some, but I don't, there's no obligation or expectation for that. Uh, we're friends here and you say, hey, they, they would appreciate this. Throw it my way. Um, what, what I do appreciate also on top of that is I have a few friends that are, in the general area of my abode, uh, but farther out, outside the 50 kilometer radius, they're farther out towards wherever. And they, they just like me, constantly out look at the Facebook marketplaces and other places, Kijiji's and Ebay's and stuff like that. And they say, oh, Dave, by the way, in Marketplace in Mississauga, there's somebody selling these parts and pieces. Ooh, <laughs> and of course they're too far to go get it. I am down the street. <laughs> so, um, uh, what has happened in the past? I say, do you want it? Because you're texting me. Do you want it? And they said, oh, no, I don't want that. But I thought you would notice. Or some people say, hey, Dave, this is like a Mississauga Facebook marketplace. Uh, I'm going to text them and I'm going to say I want to buy it. And if you can go over and pick it up and I'll pay it back. Absolutely. Like Southern Ontario, where I am, Toronto is like 45 minutes away. We're going to be there tomorrow night for dinner, by the way. But when you see this, it'll be after. <laughs> but... Um, I've had friends that say, hey, Dave, there's a pay uh, somebody in Hamilton is selling this lot or somebody in Burlington or Mississauga or Brantford is selling this lot and I want it. And I'm going to say, yes, I want it, but they're out there farther away. And they said, can you pick it up for me? Absolutely. And I've done it. And, uh, but also people have, I said, texted me and said, uh, or emailed me and said, Dave, there's this really cool lot in near your house near your area where you live and uh, I thought you'd be interested. And I'd look at it and say, if I'm interested, I'm gonna bid on it. Just like I bid on this one. Anyway, so this is what I did get. So this is reconstitution video number one for the January 2024 lot. Yay, focus, Dave, focus, focus on the actual video. So 2024, 
reconstitution number one for the year. And it's a good one. <laughs> like a lot of people thought this was meh. And I can't remember my review on it. I should have probably reviewed it, my review to see what I said it before. before. But I'm putting it together now and I'm going, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a spectacularly awesome set. I'll say that. It came with too many figs. I, I uh, There was no mini figs that Classics based in a lot, so I had to grab one off my wall, and I grabbed the yellow one, but I don't have a black one to uh, put on here. Um, no. All my uh, black mini figs are used up in the lot in my layout. So uh, I did have to grab a few pieces. I mentioned there was uh, zero trans-colored pieces in the, in the, in the lot, I did find a, a trans red one by one plate was on the headlight brick. Um, so there was one trans <laughs> one by one brick in this our plate in this piece in this lot. So I had to grab all the trans pieces, and as you can see in the front, I do not have any more trans yellow two by two dishes, and that's because layout. <laughs> so so. Um, Say la vie, I might put a brick leak order for a bunch because I also know there's going to be a Space Police one set in this lot and I have no more trans red antennas, zero more <laughs> trans red antennas. So I'm going to be sourcing a brick link store to grab, I'm, gonna, I'm making a list of uh, parts and it's going to buy small bulk of all of them uh, when I get around to it. But anyway, 1558, I have it right there. Uh, Mobile, because I just built it and I had to use the instructions, although I probably could have winged it. Uh, mobile Command Trailer came out in 1985, 86, 86. Now, I do remember buying this off the store shelf, and it was that value pack that came with two sets, two sets. Um, and it was cheap. It was in Zellers, when Zellers was still around. Wasn't stuffy the entire time with building this and sorting out the pieces, but now whatever. See, all the pieces are sorted from the, the used lot over there. Um, and so uh, the trans pieces were not in the lot. The tires were not in the lot. But these guys, these gray, whatever, giz gizmos here, were in the lot. And there's three of them. And that's why, and this piece was in the lot with this printed piece in the lot. This printed piece was in the lot. Uh, all the plates were in a lot. This fancy piece in the bottom, this wing piece in the bottom was there. Uh, this wing piece in the back was there. Uh, all these two by or one by four offset studs were there. Uh, and the one by four, of course, plates were there. So and, and the backpacks, which was a huge giveaway uh, that was this set. But again, the, the trans pieces for the backpack jet or the tanks were not in a lot. That's fine. I got them from my collection. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what solid pieces I pulled besides the tires and the gray two by two with the red uh, hubs on it. I had to get those from my collection. So that's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, nine parts from my collection, plus all the trans pieces. Uh, but the rest of it, again, minus the minifigs, was in the lot. So I can't complain about that because you know from my previous videos, I got like hundreds of these two by two gray plates with the red hubs on it. Uh, so many tires, I don't know what to do with them all. So reconstituting this was nothing. And of course the trans pieces besides this one, ubiquitous. <laughs> so um, I can't, this is, I, you know, it's, it's done. Uh, happy I built it. Happy that, you know, the ease into 2024 uh, to start reconstituting sets, my first one. Uh, as you can see, when I was getting the parts for this guy, I started pulling the parts for the... I always find to call it the Invader. It is called the Invader. <laughs> you, think, you think I would know this by now. Uh, I just know the Renegade and the Batrax. That's all you need to know. Message in that base. Um, but as I was pulling the great parts for this, I pulled the great parts for this. Those, that's all great parts that were in here. And since I was pulling the trans red uh parts for this from my uh my collection i pulled out four of these because i know i'm gonna need them because there's no trans pieces at all in this lot so i pulled those out put them there uh and then uh when i was doing the sort again i showed this to you last video two of those which i know is the invader because it didn't come in any other set uh this guy here which came into bad tracks the invader and the renegade which is one of my favorite sets this guy was a dead giveaway that it's the invader but so is those uh, that guy was there. So all the, uh, and the half, most of the mini fake, no helmet, no tanks. So um, 
so I have a good start on the parts that I need for the Renegade. Then I'm going to dump this out uh, and do some sorting. But it's after 11. I am tired, which is why I'm kind of giggly and whatever. Because um, I did, like, I was up till pretty late last night making those videos and I wouldn't shut up. So I'm not going to do that tonight. You have my word. <laughs> uh-huh <laughs> so, so um yeah actually that's it um i want to what else did i find uh in the process of sorting i, I mentioned i found that piece in there uh but i did find this in there now this is going to be related to this guy i believe right so that was there uh and there was another printed tile one by two tile and i must have put it back into there um this is what the space police one um this is what i also found so this this made it through so this again either is pirate or castle because again i have these parts uh, and that part and the, the, we should be over here anyway and the other parts that ended up in there um and i got this guy so i am trying to figure out four with two left two right four by eight wing plates in this guy not too many sets. I mean, I'm thinking the X1, which would make sense with all the two, two by two round pieces, the X1. Actually, it probably is the X1 that I'm thinking about it. So before I go to bed, I might make a reconstitution too because I like the X1. Uh, and that just gives me an idea. So I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> it just hit me now. I probably have an X1 in there. So uh, I will live long and prosper if I don't do this other video. And um, I am, a little punchy, a little whatever you want to call it, a little, I won't say out of sorts on these videos. Uh, I, I did have a long break, so I'm not as comfortable right now, and my giddiness and my gigglishness comes out uh, at this point. Uh, that's all it is. It's just me easing back into it. So uh, give me some time, and uh, I'll get back to my natural eh, whatever self. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.